All right, so uh, another an interesting signing here as the 49ers, who are kind of known for having the best linebacker tandem in football with Fred Warner and with Jerry Greenlaw, go out and add Devondre Campbell, another linebacker, which, you know, today's NFL, very rare that you have more than two linebackers on the field. But the issue is, you know, uh, when will Greenlaw be on the field? Because obviously he tore his uh, Achilles running onto the field in the Super Bowl and this is kind of a, you know, a, a potential, I don't know, a starter to at least start the season for Green Bay. Who knows when Greenlaw will be able to play again. Uh, you know, most uh, Achilles recovery times are more than a few months. Uh, so it could probably, you know, at least to start the year, Campbell could be out there. Campbell's had an interesting career, a really interesting career. It kind of, you know, he played his first four years in Atlanta and was all not not great. You know, kind of just uh, surviving more so than thriving there. Goes, to, you know, has a season with the Cardinals. He's played a lot. I mean, he's uh, had at least uh, 690 snaps every season since he's entered, entered the league in 2016. So health is always going to be a factor, uh, at least in terms of, you know, getting a decent playing time, even if he does miss some time. Um, gets to Green Bay, though, and in the 2021 season, it was just perfect. I mean, he was fantastic for them. It was a great find as they were able to, you know, great fit. And he still played better the most recent two years than he had previously, going back to his Arizona year or his Atlanta years. But I, I do feel like, especially last year, it wasn't quite as good at... He, he never reached the heights of the 2021 year again. He just didn't. So for Green Bay, you know, they're saying, okay, let's, let's move on. And for San Francisco, again, the contract details isn't officially out, but this feels like a flyer kind of pick, but they feel pretty confident he can at least be a solid player. Uh, you know, uh, it is a one-year deal, which makes sense. I do think this is just a year, a deal for now, uh, you know, as Greenlaw gets healthy and then hopefully Greenlaw is fully healthy after this next uh, season. And then they can just go back to Warner and Greenlaw. So it's kind of a depth move, but at the same time, he will probably probably have to play a good chunk of next season. So it kind of makes some sense to do this. I, I think the the criticism of this could be, hey, the goal is to win a Super Bowl. The goal is to be as good as possible in the playoffs. Greenlaw, I would assume, would be healthy come postseason time. And so is it maybe a mistake to spend money? And, you, know, you only have so much money and so much resources, right? Is it a mistake to spend that on a guy who, if all goes well, won't be playing in the postseason, but you know what? Football is a sport about depth. Like other injuries could happen. It's you know you hope Greenlaw and Fred Warner are able to play, but that's not always how it works out. And so I can understand the logic behind doing it. Still would maybe like to you know add an offensive lineman. I think here for San Francisco, but yeah, I don't know. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.